G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jitter. You might already notice up in the top right hand corner, things are going a little bit healthier than they were just a moment ago. Um, just by cutting out some of the smelters, swapping them over, along with getting some more robot speed. Even though we don't have that many robots in the air, just the fact that they can get around a little bit faster is helping with the UPS. But, before I get completely sidetracked again, we have an assembler over here that's doing nothing. It's meant to be doing... Uh, faster than light, or making faster than light drives. So we need to paste that right about there. And that should start making faster than light drives. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to stack up all the modules. Now, I do have all the components here. We could make one or two. I'm not going to yet. We're going to save that for a little bit. Because I want to still hunt down this UPS monster. And basically, I want to... Uh, just because I know what my recording schedule is like for the next like day or so. I want to talk through what we're going to do here. So I can then spend a few hours off camera changing all these smelters. So we need a smelter array. We need a different smelter array to what we had. Uh, we'll paste down what we had so we know what it looks like. Uh, I don't need three of them. Just one of them will do. Um, basically, I need to build a new smelter array. Uh, I do like this. This I really like. Except we need to just output what we do, we're do. we doing as raw ore this time. Yep. Uh, can we please, robots? Okay, I probably don't need all that, actually. Uh, oh, speaking of UPS, um, actually, I, I looked and apart from belts, well, entities, entities being really high, which is like everything on the map, biters, assemblers, inserters, everything. The other one that was really high, actually higher than I expected, was actually the construction drones. So when you guys come back, we might be all out of construction drones, um, but that's fine because we have normal robots now. So your point eight in for 11 out. These are designed around a blue belt that's a blue belt they designed around 45 out so you're doing 11 uh, 22 33 44 that becomes our smelting block it's much shorter it's a little bit wider it's much shorter okay but can we improve this again so we're bringing in not enough ore to actually test this crap. Thank you. And let's turn that off and go or or or. Okay, now max rate calculator works. So we're doing 32 in for 44 out. It's just short of 45. First things first, we're going to have you come in. Oh, actually, we can do this with blue belt. That's going to save us a fortune. Try that again. There to there to there to there to there. Inserter, 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 inserter. Okay. 44.8. If I take out one of you, does that change anything? 44.2 if I put one of those in does that change enough 45.56 so I'd have to take one out of there one out of there that should be enough that we should get 45 out are we actually using the full 45 coppers coming all the way up here and being run into this build which is using 44 neat Hang on, let's change. I can pick up the underground from that distance, but I can't chop down a damn tree. Okay, so let's duplicate this with blue belts. Overlap our beacons. Definitely change that back to a prod, and that back to a prod. 
So you're doing nothing because I didn't put ore in you because I forgot. You're doing 44.8. You need, like for this build, you need 44. Uh, that's all the places we use copper, isn't it? Yes! So we could swap out our smelters with a build like this that does 44.8 for 32 in. Uh, the problem is going to be width. Okay, so first things first. Slice. Which is going to break every one of these and then that's going to flow up the thing to break the whole build. Like, it'll all sl start shutting down. Uh, but that's fine because I need to work out how we're going to get in here and replace... These shorter ones with these longer ones. Actually, at the same time, I, need, I can cut that belt. And that's coal going to iron over there. That can all go. Mm, okay, I'm not going to rip up these belts just yet. <sighs> Come on, drain. There, actually, it's not going to happen. Uh, nope, don't. Wrong bots. Alright, let's start with what is drained. That's drained. That's drained. That's drained. That has two. Uh, that has, it really seems to preference, heavily preference one side of the belt. Oh yeah, loaders do, loaders do preference one side of the belt. Same as inserters preference one side of the belt, but loaders also do. Just fractionally. Okay. So that's... Oh, hang on. You are, you're, you're all outputting still. But you're not. So that's dead. Uh, you're not outputting. So that's dead. Uh, they're all full still. Okay, how many bots are in the network? Uh, a thousand of them are busy. Well, one thing I can do... Actually, UPS is... No, we're still running at 80. So we are running faster than normal. Uh, so the best thing I can do is try and get the logistics bots involved. And we do that by turning on these guys and putting down an active provider chest. And filling it up with stuff. Actually, did I get rid of this active provider chest I had somewhere over here? Yes. Okay. Dump more crap in there, and more crap in there, and yellow inserters, and steel furnaces. Yep, keep clearing it up. Uh, okay, where were we? We were that decon planner. All of that. Plus, uh, that whole lane and that whole lane. They're both done. Give me back that. That's all done. That's half done. Which now means I can trim back all of that just to give me a nice straight neat line. That can go as well. Uh, yeah, copper in the red circuits is very dead, 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 dead. Uh, fill, fill, more fill. Red belt can get filled. I don't want the red belt. I don't want the red loaders. I don't want the inserters. I don't want the coal. I don't want the steel furnaces. What else don't we want? Those again. That again. That again. The, the random wood that's in my inventory. The stone providing things stop shivering around. Am I requesting titanium plate? Yes. Let's just set that to zero. Because uh, technically I don't want no, I want the iron. I didn't want the titanium. We'll have that one back. Uh, what else? 
that can go, that can go, that can go. Look at these builds again. That can go. That can go. Which now means I'm pretty sure I can do every single one of those damn power poles as well. Okay, then we're going to trim this back level with that pipe. Those pipes. Sure. Uh, inventory is not going to explode. Just do a final trim into the active provider chest. Uh, oh, power poles. Yep, they can go as well. Alrighty. So, that's our furnace array. Nice and large. Uh, the good news is it also overlaps with existing beacons. So, if I put that in there, and if I'm really, really lucky... You go over there. I should be able to do that. No, we worked it out. It was green. Green would go from there to there. Okay, so I should be able to use this to bring iron ore into there. So that's one iron ore belt. That's two iron ore belts. This is a copper belt out, which goes in. Yeah, let's not replace that. There. I have a second belt here, which providing I have the right color underground. Oh, there goes the auto save. Oh, research is also finished. Like everything I throw at the research monster or the research labs uh, has just disappeared. So, right to so mining productivity 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, we're, we're, we're going to do 19. Uh, and then we're going to do 20. Um, mining speed is up to 10. I did do robot speed 8K, the 8K research because we had the material laying well we, we had the time we had the labs and we, we had the material i didn't put in substations that seems like a fault one substation there one substation there done powered uh speed modules please okay we're gonna swap robots because the construction bots seem to be better at constructing the drones seem to be better at destroying. Okay, so we've got two lanes of iron ore in for two lanes of plate out. Repeat the process. Uh, and I want how many lanes? One, two. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're just gonna jump ahead and throw one of those straight in. Uh, put that on there. <coughs> put that there, that there. I'm sure on undergrounds so I can see that. Hook that up to there. That up to th there. With the ghost of underground right about there. They're all built. We're just waiting on beacons, modules, modules, beacons, trash, uh, red belt, oh, power poles, inserters, old smelters. We're good to go. Okay, so I now need how many blue belts? Uh, what do we work this out? <gasps> this is the old blueprint. It had speed modules in it. Uh, what do you take in? You take in 32. So you need like a little bit faster than a red belt in. And you're wrong. Oh, I don't have productivity modules on me. Okay. I'll do the logical thing. Oh, I, I ran through and it replaced. 
replaced ones that had empty module slots with speed modules because I was running through the build. So, entirely my fault. That's my takeaway. Uh, Alright, fixed. Okay, uh, logistics. Module... No, we have plenty of productivity modules. We still have zero speed modules according to the base, but I think it's lying to me. Okay, we want to go out two, we want to go out three, we want to go out four. You're already going out five, you're going to go out six. We're going to copy that, bring that down, bring that down, that down, that down, that down, that down, copy those, bring them down that goes away that goes away that goes away that goes away uh, and you'll notice the ups keeps climbing right as i rip up builds and replace them the ups numbers are going up so this is one of the biggest reasons why people swap over to a module module um, a productivity module speed beacon build because you can squeeze more UPS out of your computer. Um, Factorio is a game full of infinite resources. The only two resources which are finite, and one of them is sort of not finite, is your time and UPS. You can spend 3,000 hours on a factory if you really feel like it. UPS wise, no. Nah. No, nah, if you get down to 15 UPS, you're going to start regretting it. Oh, crap. I was going to fix this by outputting it on both sides of the belt, and I didn't. Shit. Actually, because it's set up in double rows, okay, apart from that substation, which we can probably live without, It's unorthodox. Is that shh? No, because you guys need to go faster belt for that to work. I need both belts to output 90 items per second. Because that's essentially what you're doing. 45 items per second. No, you're doing 45 and you're doing 45. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's 45 per lane, so I need to do 90. Okay, so that's not going to work. <sighs> I thought I had an answer. I thought I had a really a really ingenious answer for a second there. Um, okay, so you're going to have to come through to there. Actually, it's easy to do these two. Uh, remove that, remove that. Put the... Green belt. Actually, the green belt doesn't stretch any further. Of course it doesn't. Fine. Out of my way for just this moment. Actually, it's just a side load. Okay. This one is going to be a little bit more tricky. So we need to move the ore down a tile to start with. It's going to be easier to do... Nope, I need that to go back. It's going to be easier to do this side. Technically, that works. Yeah? Uh, 
there's gaps. Okay, we'll get back to the gaps in a second. Um, I want... It's just going to be easier to do that. Um, seven. So we're stopping at 8,000 points. Uh, I want fly models. I don't want explosives. I don't need artillery ever to shoot faster. Uh, we're done. That one at 8,000. That one at 8,000. That one at 8,000. That one at 8,000. So then we're going to pick off the better solar panels because they scale up in price real fast. Yes, we'll end up doing a solar farm, just not right today. Okay, you and you have been running for a while, so you cannot output fast enough. If I add you a second setup, can you do better now? Okay, if I give you a second inserter. Okay, that's a fully compressed belt. Now over here we'll try rather than a f better a second inserter, we'll try giving you a faster inserter. Does that f fix the gaps in the belt problem? Well, about the answer is no, no. It's not a matter of actually, actually. Does that fix the problem? That's empty. You're loading onto... Okay. Try that instead. Uh, let's try a loader there and a loader there. I can't because I got the wibbly wobbly here. Uh, crap. How to fix that? Be really lazy. I'll put a purple from here. Of course, you don't quite reach. Um. Okay, if I run all through here, how do I get to match up to there? I don't. I don't want to move the whole build over by one beacon spacing. Um, loader's output onto the wrong side of the belt. That's my takeaway. Okay, if I remove that, that at least lets that output. If I change you to purple, can you get to there in one piece? Yes, you can. If I do... Nope, I just picked up the beacons and took them. I took picked up the modules, took them out and flung them somewhere. loader there you're still going to attempt to side load uh, if I move you back a tile that still doesn't help uh, if I put one but you don't have any room to get oh actually why do you have to run in oh because of that one I've got room. Okay, so if I put that to there, and then put that there, and then do in like that, up like that, does that help? No. No. The only answer I see is moving everything over by one set of beacons. Crap. Alright. All of that. One beacon spacing. One, two, 
So you go to there, uh, you can just come straight out the front now. Uh, you're going to go up a tile, you're going to go in there, you're going to come down there, you're going to go in there, you're going to go there to there. How are we feeling about things now? I'd feel but, uh, no, actually, you don't even need a splitter. Okay, and then we're running green to purple to there. Can I run green belt instead? The answer is yes. That goes away as well. Uh, is loaders better than inserters? Probably. Probably. Yeah, this still gets occasional gaps. Okay. So then, how the hell do I do the top one with it, with loaders? So we're going to have... Oh, God, this is cramped again. Um, okay. You should just be able to turn into a loader. You should be able to turn into a loader. You should both be more than content just to output on a loader on the one side of the belt. You should be content with the loader. And we'll put a little bit of belt there because it makes me feel like I'm actually doing more Factorio by using a, a normal bit of belt. Ra uh, why? Oh, because you're not going in like that. Uh, 8,000, 32,000, I'm not doing 32,000 research. It's not happening. It's not happening, game. Uh, 16,000, 8,000, 8,000. Follower of accounts useless. Let's get a couple of those just for the point where I probably swap over to real miners. We'll get rid of this so I never have to see it again. I don't think I'll ever build an efficiency module six, but we'll we'll have the research done so I don't have to see it. Okay, so that is our build. Okay, I'm putting you there to clean out that lane. Because in theory, having stuff in only one lane is lower on UPS. <sighs> Right, so uh, that bit of purple belt that does nothing needs to go because it costs resources. You go to there, which goes to there, which goes to there, which goes to there. Um, um, So that's what we're doing. That's the build. All right. Cut those. Cut those. Because my answer to this is unfortunately go away, followed by go away. Because it's so much easier to cut the guts of this and paste it on top of that. And on top of that. And then you just magically work. That goes away. And that goes away. Wrong button. And then we swap robots because, like I said, the drones seem to be so much more efficient at destroying things. The construction bots are so much more efficient at building things. Uh, substations. I'm going to get a whopping great big substation and shove it right here in the middle. No, there's not going to be enough range. Uh, let's build one. Sure, one there. And we'll put one in the center. And one there. So we should be powered up. Everybody should be good to go. Other robot time. 
Uh, I don't have the beacons on me for some reason. Uh, so that one goes under there. That one goes under there. Uh, that goes on to there. And that goes on to there. Are we done? We're done. Uh, all the belts look full. All the belts look happy. You're on two lanes, unfortunately. Is there a better way to fix that? Uh, there is, actually. If I do that... And then that... And then that... You're all on one lane, yes. Uh, you'd still be on two lanes on this one. It's fine. It's, it's a compromise. Uh... Okay. The important thing, everything's coming out this side fully compressed. And that's where I call the episode. Um, so, this is my smelter ray. This is what we're going to be running with. Uh, UPS keeps fluctuating. Fast and light drive, out of pure curiosity, is at... Uh, look, we've got the efficiency modules. So, and the other two are at like... What's that? 60% done? 60% done. Um, probably the reason it's running short is it stole all the blue circuits off speeds and prods. Um, whereas green circuits had its own unmolested supply of blue circuits. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to call this episode. I am probably going to literally go through and replace everything of Smelter all the way up. Because I've made it double length... Um, well, actually, let's just copy that and put it over the footprint of one of these because it's shorter and wider basically i turn two lanes into a single lane like this and it also means because the way it goes in and out i can actually paste this down right in the middle run iron in one side copper well iron into one of these input belts copper into the other have the other end spit out an iron and a copper hook it straight back up and we're done um so it should be relatively painless to clean out all these builds and replace them. Um, on top of that, the base is still making those awesome, awesome modules that I'm not using. I am saving them. Uh, nope, wrong button. I want logistics module. We got 271. Um, that's definitely enough that I can start looking at a new, 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 new offsite base um, that is just going to be. Or maybe upgrade, maybe upgrade this one. I think that's what we'll do. We're going to upgrade the smelting. You bring in how much? 29.38. We're making 44. So that's one of the things I'll do. We, we already know what a green circuit ultra, ultra productivity module build looks like. We know what a red circuit ultra ultra productivity module build looks like. So that's what I'm going to be doing between episodes. I think I'm going to cut out all of this um, and replace this and these green circuit builds with a productivity module six build. Replace these red circuit builds with a productivity module six build as well. Um, in saying that, what did we say? We said we, we said we had 219 or something. Uh, you by yourself uses 128. Um, yeah, it's not going to get us very far. That does output... Do, 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 do. It does output 50 red circuits. Whereas you're designed to... Let's get the double lot. You're designed to put out 71. So it's not that bad a trade-off. Uh, 35. Yeah, so we can... 35 and, 35 and, what was the other one? 71. And, you output 100. 35, 71 is 106 ish. I think because you're not running at full speed, we can actually replace all of. This one and this one were just two builds. 
And the two builds use... The two builds use 128. So I did do a double build. Okay. So yeah, we can replace these. We can replace, replace the green circuits. The green circuits are not that many modules. Uh, it is 14. Um, but because green circuits are important, that's going to add up quick. Um, in fact, I might even be able to trim some productivity module sixes out of this and replace it with threes and still get the throughput we need um, and just have a slightly higher copper demand because really if, if the copper demand is the same as the iron demand, we're, we're pretty much spot on. Um, but yeah, that's like I said, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. I'm going to do some trimming behind between episodes. Um, on top of that, research-wise, uh, I don't probably just mining productivity um like we've done a couple of artillery shell ranges and these are doing a little bit better maybe i'll throw another two researchers into artillery range and then we'll worry about what to do after we come back from the break where i rip up half of this little module base and replace it but anyway like i said i'm out i'm done thank you guys so much for watching um the next episode you guys will see we will try and do a productivity module six for blue circuits um, we were doing this little one up here, which is still prod threes, which uses a lot of green circuits. Um, obviously a prod mod six one will be way better, but that really comes down to if we have any modules left after I do all this crap, um, both speed and productivity module threes, along with the module sixes, cause it's going to be a lot of modules. Anyway, like I said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Factorio Sub X. All right. Bye.